You are. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ron, stop it. God, please, Ron, don't do that. Oh, it's done, Leslie. It's... <laughs> Tammy and I are in love, and we're gonna start a family together. In fact, she's ovulating, so if you'll excuse us, we're heading off on our honeymoon. Wow, where are you going? Jerry. We're gonna spend 11 days in my cabin in the woods. We bought 10 cases of Gatorade and a 40 pound bag of peanuts for energy. Oh, God. Give me it. Uh, uh, okay, excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, God. Oh. What's up? <laughs> Tom Haverford's in the building. Woo! Tom, what the hell are you doing? Same thing you're doing, celebrating Pawnee's finest. I believe you know my date, Tammy Swanson. Hi, Ron. Oh, hi, Ron. Hey, Ron. I'm sorry. Is seeing your ex-wife on my arm making you uncomfortable? Gee, I can't imagine why. Or can I? <laughs> Ooh, I like this song. Do you want to dance, Tammy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. I know Tammy seems scary, but really, she's just a manipulative, psychotic, library book peddling, sex crazed she demon. It's really good to see you, Ron. You've aged horribly. You son of a bitch. It didn't take Oh, long. my God! Not what is your idea. problem? Nothing's changed, has it? Changed. Who set the bed on fire, Excuse huh? me. I did, OK? Oh, is that what you want to eat? Oh, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. I'm so Please. sorry. Fine. Oh, take my it God. Easy. She's near. Hey, Ron. Tammy. So you two are together now. My condolences to both of you. You guys were supposed to vote for me. Leslie, I would never do anything to help you. You've always been against me and Ron. You're a big part of the reason that he and I aren't together and I had to settle for this placeholder. Yeah, I love you so much. So you thought if you voted for Ron, you could actually win him back? Yeah, that's right. To work, baby. Are you horny with gratitude? <laughs> Tammy. Hello, Ron. Well, what happened here? And more importantly, does the carpet match the face? If you're looking for trouble, take it somewhere else. An hour ago, a giant fireball consumed my entire face. <laughs> and it was far preferable to spending another second with you. <laughs> Tell that to your pants tent. It's just the way I'm standing. Go back to the library where you belong. Uh, mm. This room, so much wood, ready to be worked. Me. Hey, <laughs> alert, 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 alert. She's here, isn't she? Oh, hey, Ron. What a coincidence. Gosh, I never dreamed you'd be here. Tammy, this is Diane. Diane, this is a piece of human garbage named Tammy, who is also my ex-wife. Twice ex-wife. We were married twice. And divorced twice. Everything is done. They're totally done. Tammy, what are you doing here? Oh, I just have a little something I need to get drilled. Can I speak with you for a moment? Hello, Ron. Hello, Ron's friend. Tammy, what could possibly bring you to a children's performance? Preparing a ritual sacrifice of a newborn? No, just trolling for some daddy. Oh, sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Trolling for some dad D. Diane, why don't you take the girls for some ice cream while I dispose of the sewer dwelling gutter witch? Bye, Tammy. Always a pleasure. You're not fooling me, Ron. This little domestic charade of yours hasn't changed you one bit. You're still the same old Ron Swanson. And I will defeat you. I will defeat you right into my pants. Everybody go crazy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's enough. Tammy? Oh. oh, hi, Ron. I was just tasting my new boyfriend, Glenn. Tom. Uh -huh. You don't know what you're mixed up in, son. This isn't about you, it's about me. Typical Ron Swanson, always thinking about yourself. Maybe we like each other. Yeah, maybe we do. Oh! Hey! 
okay, let's uh, take it easy. Tammy, leave him out of this. Oh, so it's okay for you to have a girlfriend, but I'm not supposed to see anybody? Damn it, woman! Just crawl back into the dank hole you came from and leave my friends alone. <gasps> Whoa, okay, okay, let's settle down. What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Is there a problem here? So, Tammy, for that and many other reasons, Ron has decided to end this relationship. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ron brought you here to break up with me for him? She volunteered. Leslie, Ron doesn't want to break up with me. What Ron wants to do is leave here right now, go to the sleaziest motel in town, and wrap himself around me like a coiled snake. No, he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he does. See? He's completely over you. Welcome to the Indiana Fine Woodworking Association Awards. I'm your host, Martin Housley, and wow, it's gonna be a great show. Knock on wood. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a quinky dinky. Look, we're sitting at the same table. Tammy, this table is reserved. A guy traded me his seat for a peek and a squeeze. That's my boob and my butt, respectively. Remember that, Ron? Subtle. Well, you know, they asked me if I would host this event, and I said, would I? <laughs> hey, Jer Bear. What are you doing with these two jabronis? Tammy, I've given this a lot of thought. We should break up. <laughs> What's the matter, little boy? Did the bad people get to you? They just made me realize how unhealthy this is. Literally, all the steak and whiskey, I have to wear a diaper. That's because you're my little baby. We drilled you on this, Jam. Baby talk, what do you do? I'm not a baby, I'm a big boy. Yeah, okay, well that wasn't terrible. Don't listen to Leslie, she's trying to manipulate you. All she cares about is herself and I can prove it. How's this, Leslie? You leave us alone and we swing the vote to you. Help you get your park. No, nice try. Stay strong, Jeremy. <sighs> it's over, Tammy. Tell you what, it's been long enough. What do you say we consummate our relationship tonight? Huh? Let's do it. <laughs> and the last card is played. What are you doing? Shh, this is a library. You see what's happening here? Ron, I need that crotch blinder. No, you don't. Just end it. Look at my boobs. No. Look downstairs. No. There's a prize inside for you. It's over, Tammy. What? To hell with you, woman. Goodbye. How dare you? Are you kidding me? You'll be back. They all come back. They all well come Well done, back. Jeremy. <laughs> Turns out the crotch blinder was inside you all along. Come on, everybody. Come on, get it on. I'm naked. Uh-oh. Oh, God. OK, what's, hey, what's happening here? Ron and I are going to get a cup of coffee and talk things out. It's time for Tammy and me to bury the hatchet once and for all. Everything will be fine. It's been like this for hours. Hey, Swanson! Snap out of it! Leslie! Congratulate us. Ron's got one just like it on his penis. Oh, yeah. What the hell happened to you? Well... You may now kiss the bride. It's been kind of a crazy night. Come back. Uh, I'm sorry, Leslie. She wins. I can't resist her. God, Ron, you have to. Stay out of this. This is our relationship. He's my man, and we have something twisted and beautiful. Oh. You want Ron. That's what this is all about. No, that's insane. Fine, I had one dream, but no, no. Baby. Don't you see what's happening here? She's manipulating you because she's jealous of me and the things I get to do to your body and face.
Our next award is for Achievement in Chairs. The nominees are Asa Christiana for Chair, Ron Swanson for Chair, HW. So exciting, Ron. Okay, Ron, this is your moment. Tune her out. She's not even here. And the winner is Ron Swanson for Chair. <laughs> This award is the only one I'd ever give a damn about. I made my first chair when I was five, but the quality of the wood was wanting, so when I turned nine, I used my factory wages to purchase some beautiful local walnut. Uh, thank you. For this, uh, this all good, night good. Uh, there it is. Guess I'll be heading home. Catching the number 12 bus to Satan's butthole. Actually, I prefer the number 69 train to Humpsville Station. Red alert, Swanson. Your ex-wife is back. No kidding, Donna. Not her. The other ex-wife. Tammy won. She's in your office. Take me back to Tammy. For the millionth time, no. That was not the favor we needed to ask for, Leslie. If we don't get the police for the Harvest Festival, there is no Harvest Festival. I know, I'll figure it out later. Can you turn the radio off? This is our song. Your song is Dancing on the Ceiling by Lionel Richie. Oh, wow, look at that. You shaved off part of your mustache. That's lovely. I didn't shave it off. It rubbed off from friction. Oh. 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 Thank you.